And that, of course, one of the more popular tracks by Flesh for Lulu, Postcards from Paradise, came out back in 1987. The band formed in London in 1982, and uh, we've got singer Nick Marsh on the phone with us now. And, you know, the interesting thing about Flesh for Lulu is it's kind of a hard band to categorize. (laughs) <laughs> and, I, and I'll tell you this because you've got straight up alternative fans that like your stuff, and yet you've also got goth fans that are heavily into you. Did you guys consider yourself a goth band? Um, not really. I mean, you know, when we started, they, they, um, there wasn't really a, such a, a, a word as goth, you know. In the, in, in the very early 80s, it was like um, something that came along later and got attached to us and a few other bands you know like it became like a new subgenre of of whatever you know of, of like the post punk thing you know mm-hmm. yeah i guess it was like sort of like minded people from that generation just happened to start wearing black clothes and but we still had the spiky hair and stuff you know well, what bands were you uh, listening to when you uh, first started the group and and where the group started around 82 yeah, yeah, it was about eight, 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 82, 83, yeah. Um, oh, it's hard to remember back then. Um, probably the, the same type of stuff I'm listening to now, but, right. you know, I don't know. I think it's a bit more diverse now. Back then, it was we were listening to a lot of sort of uh, David Bowie music and uh, Iggy Pop and Lou Reed and that, that kind of stuff, you know? Right, uh, that's what I was going to ask you. Was the was the glam scene in England from the early seventies uh, an influence? Oh, definitely. Yeah, that, I mean that's what that's what made me want to pick up a guitar in the first place. You know, was sort of seeing uh, T Rex and and the Sweet and bands like that. You know, on top of the pops. Tell us a little bit about those those early gigs in in the UK because we didn't get to even know about you in the states till about I guess eighty six or eighty seven. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because because um, it was it wasn't until I mean we were, we were playing in the states um, in in the sort of you know in, from from about 1984, but um, it wasn't until we did the soundtrack music for uh, uh, John Hughes film, uh, some kind of wonderful. Right, sure. And we had a song on, on on one of his films, and then all of a sudden it was like we you know we got to a, a broader audience, you know. Outside of the kind of, uh, yeah, what they called, like, back then, the sort of the college radio sort of alternative rock thing, you know. And then suddenly we were, we were getting played on commercial stations and MTV and stuff, and it was like, wow, yeah. Yeah, prior to that, I, I guess um, in the States, you would, have been, you would have been considered kind of a cult act. Prior- oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and now we've gone back to being a cult act again. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything ha- comes in cycles, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you also, before that, you know, sort of became a little infamous because you had that band uh, cover. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. The, the, with the picture of the two nuns kissing, yeah. Right. Yeah, which was, uh, it was, that, was that was taken from like a 17th century um, engraving, and, you know, we just colored it in with some felt tips and put it on a record sleeve and and ne- next thing you know we're playing at, at Fender's Ballroom in um, uh, Long Beach California and, the, and there's, pe- there's people outside burning uh, copies of our record you know like uh, these uh, sort of uh, you know sort of Christian fundamentalists sure <laughs> but um, you know it's all quite innocent it was, no that was hilarious it was like um and we were also, I think it was to, to do with a band we were playing with at the time, um, who was also on, on, on the same bill at, on that night, it was Christian Death. Oh, um, wow. So, you know, that, that they were, I think they, you know, maybe they had, those kind of people had a bit of a, you know, a, a legitimate reason to have an issue with band like Christian Death, but we were just, you know, just playing some rock and roll, and it was just like, we thought it was just a cool picture, and it was like, suddenly we're like like the the Antichrist, you know, it was hilarious. That was was a hoot, man, yeah, they were actually literally burning copies of our record, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Where, 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 by the way, did the name Flesh for Lulu come from? Oh, God. Um, to, 
tell the truth, I've, I've told so many, I've made up so many stories because I've been asked that question so many times. But I've almost, I've almost forgotten the actual true story, you know. <laughs> Fact and fiction have blurred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because, you know, for my own amusement, I kept making up different, you know, sort of uh, fabricated uh, stories about where it came from, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, around the time of I Go Crazy, uh, also Postcards from Paradise was a, a pretty big single for you, too. Two really big songs in the same year. Yeah, it was a bit of a surprise because we, we were playing like a sort of um, nightclub spots, you know, right. college radio crowds. And then all of a sudden there was like a, a lot of very young faces in the crowd, yeah. Well, then it continued with. Uh, it's like we were a pop band all of a sudden. Yeah, right. But you cool. didn't. You didn't. <laughs> you did, that certainly <laughs> wasn't your intention when you uh, began the band. No, no. It did. I mean, the, the you know the, the the music did get a lot more sort of mainstream and commercial with with the addition of uh, uh, you know new mem new band members. You know, mm -hmm. the sort of the style of the thing kind of moved more towards the mainstream. You know. I don't know if that was a good thing or not, <laughs> but well, there you go. Well, I, I don't think that you lost any of your older fans because your music winds up on so many different compilations, like you're on goth compilations. Oh, there's loads of that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, do you, how do you feel Where's about that? Where's the royalties? <laughs> right, yeah, right, exactly. How do you feel about that association with, um, with, with goth and then also with, you know, just regular rock fans? Um... I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, because you know, but in both in both tokens, it was like, you know, we did when we did start off. It was we used to play at this place called the Bat Cave in London, mm -hmm. and it, and it was kind of the start of that whole goth scene, you know. And um, you know, when we came over to America, we we got loads of support from from college radio and stuff. So it was like a a sort of natural thing, you know, just just sort of straddle the two things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, in, we, we, you know, we were lucky, I think. In fact, you still get support from College Radio because we have all of your records on vinyl here. Wow. So... I we, don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll send yeah. them over to you. When did the band officially uh, split up? Was it around 92 or so? Um, well, I mean, we, we never really did sort of uh, make anything official. You know, it was just like me and Rocco... Just, kind of started doing this other thing called Gigantic. Right. And, uh, you know, we just sort of diverged rather than actually splitting up, you know. And you've since uh, put out a solo record. Yeah, my album, um, solo record, is, uh, it's called A Universe Between Us. Uh. Why don't we hear some of that? Okay. And uh, we'll come back and chat some more with Nick Marsh, lead singer of Flesh for Lulu and his uh, solo album, a universe between us, and from that record, this is Destiny Angel. That was Nick Marsh from his uh, solo record, A Universe Between Us, with Destiny Angel. Nick Marsh, of course, lead singer of Flesh for Lulu. And uh, Nick, I'm assuming Flesh for Lulu are, are done? No, no, uh, me, me, me and Rocco, uh, we started re-recording some of our back catalogue, you know? Mm -hmm. Um as a kind of experimental thing because I don't know you know we're one of those bands that sort of suffered from the from the production values of the 80s you know and it was like oh wouldn't it be great if some of that stuff didn't sound so synthetic plastic sound they were trying to get all the time you know right. people always used to say that it was like a, oh you know you guys sound like something else when you play live and it's like Wow, yeah, it's true. Where's all the guitars on the records, you know? And so um, we, we, you know, we just re-recorded a couple of the songs and and uh, ended up doing a whole bunch, you know. So, so we've got like an album's worth of material that's just sort of redressing some of the songs from the past. And um, um, we, uh, we, we had a few uh, new things as well, which we, we've thrown in there as well. So, yeah, there is new stuff. So is uh, is there any way we can get a hold of it? <laughs> well, sure, yeah. I'll, I'll make a, a package for you, man. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. Play us on the radio. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. So if anybody wants to find out 
wh- you know what you're up to. Do you have your own web? There's all I know. There's a Flesh for Lulu site. Is that your website as well, or do you have a solo site? Or yeah, I've got I've, I've, there's um, um, the, there's a, I've got a MySpace site for Flesh for Lulu and, and for my solo stuff as well. So you know you could just Google me up and there I'll, there I'll be. Yeah. So and 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 people uh, can contact you on that and and I hope they do. Yeah. Yeah, and join up with you and chat back and forth. Yeah, right. Yeah, come look us up. You'll get a lot of people after this interview airs. <laughs> right, right. Cool. You know, I, I'm really looking forward to coming over there, and uh, you know, I'll probably be there first to do my uh, doing my solo stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I, but I'm also playing with this band called The Urban Voodoo Machine, um, and we, we did. Uh, a, a tour with the Pogues. Okay. We did a few few dates in, across the pond as well. So, yeah, you might you might see me playing with those guys as well. Thanks, Nick. Um, thanks for for talking to us. Thank you, Mister Ghosty. And we're going to wrap it up with the extended version of "I Go Crazy" by Flesh for Lulu. Ah, uh, go crazy. <laughs>